All right, for the first part of this video, after I just sold a ton of stuff, I'm here in Rivet City hey, to talk to Pinkerton. Stay sharp. They're everywhere. About the replicated man, a quest I accepted off camera about an android that's uh, basically people are trying to track down. What are you talking about, girl? I don't know anything about any of that. And uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Uh, maybe a hundred caps will jog your memory. It's things like bottle caps and property and ownership and all that nonsense that makes a person think he's better than another. Bah! But I'll take your caps just the same. This android came in as one person and he left as someone else. I replaced his face and his memories. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm sorry you don't get along with Dr. Lee, but we were discussing the android. That which ruined my life, but... Yes. It's all in my computer. Okay, cool. So he's got the evidence in uh, the computer. Harkness should be told. You'd want to know if you were an android. Maybe I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I suppose you're right. But all you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him. Okay, so he's got this recall code and then he'll realize that he's an android. So, cool. Um... Pinkerton's private computer. Android log. One, two, three. Before picture, after picture. Okay. So, now that we know that, let's get out of here. Tell Harkness he is an android and get a super sick uh, plasma rifle. So, that's the first piece of loot that I'm going to be getting. I think after this one, I'll be back with the uh, sneak bobblehead. Going over to the Yao Guai caves to get that one. After that, I don't know, small guns, big guns, who knows? Who knows? Hello. Not sure where he is right now because typically he's in the market, but it's nighttime. I don't think I've ever done this during the night. Evening. Oh wait, that's this one's pointing to Dr. Zimmer, because you have two options here. To tell Dr. Zimmer who will I don't even know what he's gonna do, Hello. but Saint Monica bless you. Oh, there he is. The Darkness. I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? Not sure to put this. You're not the person you think you are. What's that supposed to mean? Look, kid. I don't have time for existential debate. Shut up, Butch. Not... You're gonna get the same voice. This isn't an existential debate. You're a robot from the Commonwealth. Excuse me? Look, kid. You have exactly five seconds to explain what- Okay, then give me five seconds. The facts will speak for themselves. I have pictures and an audio testimony. Alright, I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot, I'm a human being. I breathe. I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. You're made to look and act human, but you're not. The evidence proves that. I'm not that. sure what to say. I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit, this is pretty convincing evidence. But it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? Sorry, Harkness, but this is the only way. Activate A321 recall code violet. Ah! My god. I... I remember. I remember it all. From before. Zimmer, the Commonwealth, the Institute. My God, all those runners I brought down. You, you made me remember. Why? How? I, never mind. I just, my God, what am I going to do? My life, everything, it's all a lie. Um, don't worry, Agnes. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. I'm really not sure how people would react if they found out I'm, you know, not entirely Well, there's human. three of them standing Here's right beside a us. token of my gratitude. Ask Best them. Best weapon I've ever had. And I've had it forever. 
Thank you, A321 Slaz Rifle added. Thanks for all the help. Carry on then. Alerts have been quiet lately. Alright, so that's that one done. Next I'll be back with something else. Hey everyone, I'm back with the Yaogwai tunnels now. I'm getting the sneak bobblehead which is here. And as you can see, this weapon I'm holding is kind of interesting. It is the A321 plasma rifle that I just got from Harkness. I'm pretty sure the weapon retextured project changes the way it, this weapon looks. Functionally, it still acts the exact same. It's not like it's doing any more damage. It's not like, uh, you know, it's any better than the one you'd regularly get from the quest. But this is actually how plasma rifles used to look in Fallout 1 and 2. So that's why I'm putting my guess that the um, weapon retextured project mod is what's uh, making it look this way. So um, shouldn't be any different. Um, I feel like it's probably a little bit louder, the audio on it. So hopefully when I listen back to this, it's not too bad. <laughs> um, other than that, though... Um, I'm just getting a bobblehead. Quantum? And... Three Dog on the radio. There's pretty much like one in every room or something like that, I feel like. Until we get to the, like, the caves or whatever. Because this is the Egg White Tunnels, and I think there's another... If I'm remembering correctly, I think there's like another door that I have to get go through, so like op it opens up a second section. Oh. That was spooky. Oh my god. Anyways, I think the bobblehead's in the second section of these tunnels. Um, let's go ahead and heal, because these guys do a whole smack load of damage. Ooh, I got all these aqua piers I forgot about. And might as well. We're here getting all this meat, so let's just eat one and get that extra damage. And I was right. Yay. Oh, it's the Yagwai Den. I was thinking it was called the Caves. Uh-oh. Brendo got murked. Okay, where do I have to go? And what on earth is this guy's face? Oh, see, the Babe Magnet sunglasses. That's what I got from the, um... That guy in the, um, Enclave base. I put them on and they look so stupid, though. Like, I put them on in, uh... In my Megaton house just to see what they look like. I, that one I have no clue. Like, it's gotta be coming from the weapon, weaponry textured project, because I've never seen that before. But I've also used weaponry textured project before. I don't know, man. This is all new to me. But I feel like, yeah, none of the mods that I'm using are new. Like, I always kind of use the same ones when I play this game. Anyways, I think the bobblehead's right around here, unless I'm just, uh, being blind. I think it's just sitting on, like, a... Sitting on something obvious, I remember. Uh, there's a person up there who's obviously got loot on them. Uh... I think that's all of them. 
So there it is. I knew it was sitting on something obvious. Boom. Sneak is increased by 10. The safest distance between two points is a shadowy line. All right. I think I'll be back with the lockpick bobblehead in a second. Now I'm at the Bethesda ruins, and on the way here I ran into some raiders, talon mercs, and ghouls, so I've leveled up. Level 19, I maxed out repair, put some points in explosives, and for my perk I chose intense training, and I put one point in construction because I was looking through some of my uh, perks. Because, like, at the top of the list of perks to choose from are the ones that are available to you. At the bottom of that list is the list of perks that you don't have the requirements for. And this is so weird in my ears. Um, anyways, I looked at the, the perks I don't have requirements for, and so many good ones I was missing out on because I don't have six perception. So I put intense training, one point in perception, so it's kind of a waste of a perk. And that's my fault for choosing the perks the way I did at the start of the game. I forgot about some of those requirements. And, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, now, next level uh, will be level 20. And uh, I don't remember if there's anything, like, sick or, like, any great choice. But I'll probably end up choosing better criticals. Since uh, I do have a fairly high luck skill. And uh, criticals are sick in this game. Also, that's good that I didn't max out Sneak, even though I just got the Sneak bobblehead, because usually after I get the bobblehead, I max things out. But that would have been a waste of two points. I was waiting for that one. Oh man. Uh, what the heck? It, for a second, it looked like I was wearing that Enclave jumpsuit, because the the suit looked white when it like first pulled out back in vats where you could see behind my character it's weird i was like what i'm supposed to be wearing the tunnel snake jacket how did i end up wearing that bs anyways there we go got a lock pick uh bobblehead and maybe i can go ahead and do this so that i get a nice view of it so that if i want to take a video screenshot or uh, the screens are for the thumbnail, then I can do it. Anyways, always drive for the unobtainable. Un unobtainable. Jesus. Uh, lock tech bob. Lock pick bobblehead. The lock tech bobblehead. The vault tech lock pick bobblehead. So that's it for that one. Next one I'll be back with is, I'm not sure, guns, science, explosives? We'll see. Yeah? I don't know why this guy's, what this guy's doing here. Sure can. Quick I'm just going to trust this guy. Can you heal my radiation, Mr. Random Guy Covered in Blood? In one of the most dangerous areas of the map? Homie has 20 caps. Let's see if we have a stim pack to sell him. Peace, son. Alright, this is where they get the explosives bobblehead. I'm pretty sure it's not in this building, but I'm trying to... I want to know what is in here. Who knows, maybe some pretty war books. But, um... The actual bobblehead is outside in like this bunker area behind the building, so yeah. I'm in the northwestern corner of the map right now. I can show you where in a second, but we need to get behind this building and uh, go down this little ladder. I think it's... where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. I was thinking it might have been further that way. Good thing I caught it there. I would have been wandering in the complete wrong direction. Anyways, we got some cool stuff here. Once again, I want to get up close and personal with this guy and then uh, do this for a second so I can grab a screenshot for the video icon. So here we go. The inscription on the base reads, the best way to solve a problem is to make it go away. Your explosive skill has been permanently increased by 10. Let's go ahead and grab some of this purified water and... All right. The next bubble. <gasps> oh god, that was spooky. I thought that was a death claw at first. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I found a couple giant rad scorpions on the way, and this thing actually tore them up with uh, the fact that I also have the entomologist perk. Anyways, next bobblehead is... 
What's the one at Dunwich? Maybe I'll do that. Alright, now I'm in the Dunwich building, and I'm gonna play these logs. Why the hell would he come all the way out here? Dad's been a little nuts for some time now, but not like this. Leaving me in that crappy old hospital without waking me. Without a goddamn flashlight. I made enough selling the meds we scrounged to have kept us both fed at the colony for weeks. Now I'm almost out of rations, my shoes are pretty much destroyed, and I'm still chasing the old coop. By my last reckoning, he was headed south. These guys aren't who I... Maybe I shouldn't have waited so damn long to start tracking him. The trail's gone cold. I'm gonna wander with these guys a while. Maybe somebody's seen Dad. These guys aren't who I thought they were. Jesus, I saw that man. For a sack of rotten vegetables. Getting out of here next chance I can without catching a bullet. Get a caravan today. Trev didn't see the kid and got popped. I took care of Tawny right then, and put one in Thor before he saw her fall. That earned me some grub from the traders. Even better, they saw Dad. He was in pretty rough shape, and still has the goddamn book. The trader says it gave him the creeps. Me too. But it's good to know he's still alive. Still headed south. He must have been trying to trap food here. I recognize his snares. I can make out a building on the house. That must be where he headed. If not, at least I get a roof tonight. Alright, so this guy was chasing after his dad. Sounds like maybe he fell in with the wrong group of guys and that dude was by itself. Um, and, uh, sounds like maybe his dad was, uh, up to something suspicious as well. I always get confused coming through this building of where exactly, which path I'm going. There's kind of so many ways to go. Um... I was scared there'd be a couple spots where there was like too many ghouls for me to handle, but it looks like I'm doing an okay job so far. Turn it up with this plasma rifle. Turn it up. It's the melee weapons bobblehead that's here, by the way, I remembered. On the way here. Oh, and on the way here, I actually fought a deathclaw. Um, kind of wanted this, kind of wanted to have the first deathclaw fight, uh, in the video, but, uh, whatever. Um, it wasn't, it's not like it was entertaining. I just wanted to see, you know, if it would one hit me. If it ever happens, I mean, I'm going to try not to get killed by them, you know, but, uh, I was curious if it would. Anyways, um, I just crippled its leg. If you cripple its leg, it's pretty much done for. It stands no chance. You can walk faster than it can, so... Once that was done, I just, uh, lit it up and, uh... Oh, shit. Borrowers in Fallout 4 once again. This game making me want to play Fallout 4 again. Fallout 4 is a lot more stable than this game, tell you that much. <laughs> this game has crashed quite a few times. Thankfully, it's crashed more when I'm not recording than when I am. Um, like lots of the time when I'm running around selling stuff, fast traveling constantly, uh, then, uh, then it'll crash. Alright, I had to mute my mic there for a second, uh, well, a couple minutes, but, um, thankfully I'm already editing this video, so I just stopped the recording and restarted it when I was done. Oh, I thought I saw one on the right side there, I got spooked, got spooked. Um, I can't remember if I was in the middle of talking about something. Death Claws, I think. I don't know. I beat Death Claws up. That's what happened. Real close to another level up. It's easier to tell. It's not as easy to tell in this game how close you are to level up as it is in Fallout 4. Darn it. Freaking got behind cover. Oh, you are shitting me, bro. This periodically happens. I haven't had this happen to me in ages. I think if you wait long enough. Oh, the mysterious stranger. OK, 
Okay. Come on, game. I'll give it, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> what? That was really weird. Mysterious stranger unloading on fools. I hear footsteps. I do. I go into vats right after that just happened. Bad experience. Obviously didn't didn't uh, phase me. Oh, what do we got here? Number nine. Hmm. Did I miss other ones? Who knows? Sharp knife. Sharp knife to send him to deep temple. Play and say my words. Abdul comes again on the feast of the weaker. Feast uh, for the deep temple. Born again. Here. Al Hazarad. Yes. Yes. That sounds like we got a bit of a ghoul cult going on, eh? What's the date today? The 22nd as I record this. This will probably be up towards the end of January. Um, well, hell, I've been using so much energy weapons, right? Was there something else I needed to get? Whatever. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll round out log fix. So I just have it. Might as well. And then, uh, better criticals. Oh, Grim Reaper Sprint. How could I forget? How could I forget you, Grim Reaper Sprint? My favorite perk. So overpowered. So beautiful. But I gotta use every advantage with no companions, no stim packs, and... Uh, Practically no armor. If I'm remembering correctly, the bobblehead is actually in an area where you wouldn't necessarily expect it. You'd expect it, you know, at the end of the dungeon, but I think it's not. Yep, it's here. It's on the way out. So, yeah, that's leading back to the entrance of the thing, but there it is, the, um... The melee weapons bobblehead in the Dunwich building. Though I'm gonna make the final stretch of this trek into the... Into the building, and, uh... Wipe out whatever whatever's left of these... Cool. Holy smokes. Come on. Sprint. That's it now, isn't it? That's it. That's it. Oh my god. Take out all these baby ones and exploit perks. Beautiful. Beautiful. The man had a Chinese assault rifle. Do we have any more final audio tapes? like it just this very creepy pillar so i don't know what's next small guns science we'll see
So I'm here at Evergreen Mills, and this is going to be where I get the cur no, not the charisma, the, um, the barter bobblehead, and I'm also going to get the terrible shotgun. Um, this is Smiling Jack. I'm deciding not to show the, uh, or I decided not to record the fighting portion of me getting here to fight through a bunch of raiders because there's still a couple more things I want to do in this video, a couple more bobbleheads, and those ones are cooler than this one. So I want to show the fighting in those parts, not this, to save time on the video. Anyways, um, let's see what he has for sale. I can't remember if he sells the terrible shotgun or if he's going to take it from him. So, looks like that's a no. So I say see you later. And then uh, let's see what happens when we try and pickpocket. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a no goal. I'm never going to come back here to uh, buy stuff from him. So, uh, let's just go ahead and... Uh, take that one for ourselves you know oh the his supply key the vendor key um where does he keep his stuff i thought it's in a safe back here ah uh, screw that i'm not gonna pick that lock um oh it's a locker <laughs> so we'll take all the ammo he has the bottle caps the nades and those and nothing else is worth it. And then the Charisma bobblehead is... I know it's around here. <laughs> Not the Charisma, the freaking barter. Jeez. What am, I, what am I talking about? Oh, maybe it's back here. There it is. Look at him go. Once again. Turn off my HUD. So I could use that for a possible video icon. And then... Barter. Never forget to walk away with more than you've brought. Alright, so, be back in a minute with another bobblehead. The next one is another quick one, it's the unarmed bobblehead. I just picked this note in here in Rockopolis, or Rockopolis. Anyways, Rollings, that's the last of these hole dwellers. Jerley wants to shop them around up north. Not sure if they'll make good slaves since their eyesight is so shitty, but that's not our problem, so gather the boys and saddle up. Next stop, the pit. So it looks like in this little crappy hole in the wall cave um there were some people hiding out here and i guess because they were in the darkness so long their eyesight sucked and they're gonna be slaves and they're gonna be taken to the pit which is where i'm gonna go soon um anyways unarmed bobblehead when words fail there's always fists and just to show you where exactly it is i'm gonna pop outside real quick easily identified by the banner hanging right above the uh entrance and on the world map just west of smith casey's and north of greater shade Another very quick one, it's the Big Guns bobblehead down in Fort Constantine. The best way to win an argument is to be the loudest. Your big gun skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Whoa! A bunch of caps too, I'll show you on the map in a second where exactly this is. So, Fort Constantine is right here, I haven't got the map marker, but basically in the top left corner of this map where you see the road come to an end, there's a few different locations here at Port Constantine. Um, this just happens to be the little uh, CO bunker or something it's called. CO bunker? CO quarters. Okay, so boom, there you go. Fort Constantine discovered. And that's that one. Alright, I wasn't originally going to show me walking all the way towards the bobblehead in Vault 106, but there's hopefully some like pretty cool thingies going on. Um, uh, like these little like moments of hallucination. Um, I forget exactly where it is. I think it's in this room somewhere. I think it's in one of like the people's bedrooms or something like that. Got combat armor and metal armor. And these insane survivors. By the way, this is the terrible shotgun that I picked up from Smiling Jack over on uh, what was it, Evergreen Mills. Um, so yeah, it might actually be below. It might be on the ground floor. Oh, look at that. It's not. It's right here. Alright, well, I guess you didn't get anything cool. You just got me, uh, blowing off a few dudes, uh, craniums. So, get that for a possible screenshot. And always be prepared to explain the hows and the whys. Science and per permanently increased by 10. 
Sweet. So, uh, I'll be back with, what do I, I think I have one more, one more to go. All right, National Guard Depot has the last one, the small guns. Uh, it's always a bit of a trek to get here. Um, I'll show you on the map where it is. Um, so yeah, it's right here on the eastern side of the map. Sort of, yeah, east of GNR Plaza, north of uh, the mall. But when you come to this area, you have to come from the top side. You can't exit, you can't get to it from like anywhere over here. So I remember the first couple times from me trying to get it, I was you know, trying to walk this way, but no, you gotta come from the top. So anyways, um, this one has the coolest bit of fighting. So that's why I wanted to uh, save this one for actual video. This video is probably gonna be like 30, 38 minutes long or something, 40 minutes long. And be a bit of one of the longer ones, but much better than, heck, I, it's been about two hours, so, you know, it's like three, four episodes worth of uh, going around and finding bobbleheads condensed down into one, so. Stupid sentry bot is holding it down for his homie there. Oh my god. The stranger. Perfect timing, buddy. Whoa, that fool is quick. Oh my god. Whoa, I'm the third person now all of a sudden. Jesus. I think what I'll do is uh, cut this video so you don't see the boring parts of me wondering. Where's the next way to go and I'll only show the actions, action scenes. Just hide me. Actually, I think I can repair this thing to do more damage, because it's pretty much broken. I think I have one because I ran into some Enclave guys, that's how I hit level 21. Yep, but not as much as I thought. I thought I picked up a couple plasma rifles. Guess only one of them had. No point in doing the turret control anymore.
freaking limping around. It's so annoying. You can go so much slower. Do I hear a robot up there? Yeah, I was pretty sure that happened. Couldn't quite recall though. I almost clicked on that stupid stim pack. I hate those things. Alright, I think that's it pretty much. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I almost dropped down without hitting that. Could have sworn there was also pre-war books up there, but screw it. I don't give a shit at this point. I just want to get my stuff and go and I forgot there was one last one. Where's the fountain? According to reports from the episode, we need to wait until the tower. A group of all these alive trying to get the truth. Ah, but lush at large, Alistair Tenpin says. No zombie. Where are you, asshole? Come on. Goofy thing, there you are. Alright, sweet. Because it's easier to have courage from a safe distance away, your small gun skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Cool, so I think that's all of them. Moment of truth. Boom! Got them. The only ones left are the special ones, which I'm going to wait until I have the almost perfect perk at level 30 to do, so I have 10 special in all of my things. But that's going to be it for this video. Likes, comments, always appreciated. But until next time, bye for now.